Hey, now the vlog, if you didn't catch the last, I guess you call weekly vlog, I'm landing in America. So the next four are gonna be all throughout like my trips to America and Mexico. Should be pretty interesting. It's like the afternoon, we're walking to Dunkin' Donuts. I've never been to Dunkin' Donuts before. So. Well, those donuts were actually half decent, not gonna lie. We are currently in the main, I don't know if you call it like the main area of Hollywood, Hollywood Boulevard, whatever you call it, with all the, all the stars as you can see. Um, where's Sammy GFC for so cricking the cricket bat? Or where's Trey? for his uh, thousandth goal and said you've got irrelevant people like Robert Merrill. Definitely wouldn't be seeing that anywhere else in the world. Drive a Ferrari for $109, yeah. Definitely don't think people are gonna just drive it and crash it. So in this area there are quite a few um, famous celebrities that have been sort of where we are right now with their handprints and footprints. I've seen a few that I know. It would be funny because there are some empty squares if I just decided, screw it, I'm just gonna just gonna, you know, engrave my freaking details and put Card Man 22 on. I'm sure they wouldn't let me do that. I reckon I've been harassed a good 10 times so far for just random stuff like to take a photo, to buy certain things. People are selling their bloody records which are probably really crappy and they want you to pay for them. But I mean what do you expect? It's really touristy, at least in this area it's really touristy as you can tell. Plans have changed at 5 p.m. I wasn't originally gonna go to a Lakers game. I wanted to go, but apparently I thought tickets were already sold out or too expensive. I ended up getting some decent ones. Um, well, decent price tickets for a Lakers game. These Suns, I've never been to an NBA game. I don't really follow the NBA, but this could be really cool. So it's five o'clock, still in Hollywood. We're gonna head to Crypto Bank Arena. I had to use someone else's credit card and I had to use someone else's address because I couldn't use um, that app as an Australian. But I've gotten the tickets and we're gonna go to my first NBA game. Motherfucker, I've been modified, 45, fitting like a motor car. I ain't regular, feel like Jordan wearing 45. Traumatized, victimized, seen some of my niggas die. Knock you off a base with a bat when them niggas slide. The train wasn't that bad, actually. I thought it'd be more sketchy than that, but we've made it to Crypto.com Arena for the Lakers and the Suns. Should be really good, actually. So I can't bring the tripod in. Well, I can, but they told me I can't whip it out, so I'm just going to do the handheld. That's fine, honestly. I thought the camera was an issue, but it isn't. I sort of feel like fish out of water. I feel like we've got to get some, some Lakers merch, in a way. All right, as you can see, you got myself a had. Didn't bother getting a guarantee because I didn't really want to spend $200. We're going to walk to our seats now because it starts in 25 and I would like to see them warm up a little bit. We don't have the best seats in the world, but like, what do you expect? Suns get the first three. Oh, geez, the Suns, the Suns. Kevin Durant. Durant. It's been a Phoenix Suns start, 17 to nine. High scoring, but they're all gonna be high scoring at the NBA. Um, and lots of threes. So hopefully we do get a close one here. You got 10 seconds, Toby. Oh, he's got it. I don't really know what that kid won, but I didn't know they bloody did those things during the timeout. I thought it was only during the breaks, not in the middle of the first. Jesus. LeBron James has just missed three free throws of five. He's having another one. Imagine he misses four out of six. He keeps getting these free throws. He keeps missing them. He's got it. Need of that. The Suns are up by 14. Queuing up to get some food. Definitely different to the stuff here at the footy. Got myself some food. Hot dog that probably is a bit over. In fact, everything's overpriced here to be fair. And a pretzel, which is American, classic American food of the uh, basketball. 
pretty good. I've been on. having a walk around, uh, walking to this store, and it's a massive Funko Pop vinyl store. You know the, those pop figurines? I don't collect them, and uh, no chance I'm buying any, but I didn't even know this was a thing. It's, it's actually massive. Today, we're gonna be heading into uh, the city of LA, so downtown LA, I'm pretty sure, if they've got like fast food places for my chips video, so hopefully we can go to a few today, because um, I haven't been able to yet so far this trip. It's pretty bad down here, at least people are like beeping their horns as they uh, Just had Chipotle for lunch, I've always wanted to try it. I've heard sort of big things about it, it's pretty good, but spicy. I've got the spiciest burrito and I'm feeling like fucking shit. I know when I take a dump tonight, it's not going to be good. in the middle of trying to film something for my chips video in a Chick-fil-A. Uh, my road mics weren't working, sort of annoys me, but they had the chips ready. You guys will see in that video. The chicken I've been told is good. Yeah, fucking hell. This is pretty good. All the goals, red goose with no one used good Chick-fil-A, I'll tell you that for a fact. Just walking around a Target in um, America, obviously, and I had no idea that it was its own grocery. It's Target on steroids in Australia. Like the Targets in Australia are garbage compared to like, what the, I knew they were better. I didn't know that they had all this stuff though. Now also in Australia, if you want to get alcohol at like supermarkets, uh, it's in a different area. So it's like a different store, not just on the shelf in a Target. I did not know they sold alcohol on a Target. Obviously you can't drink alcohol until 21 here, so I wouldn't buy any, but they're in the fridges. There are wines behind me, all this random stuff. They even have fruits and vegetables, what the hell? Try the burger for the first time. Guest number 3436, please. Your order is ready. Guest number 3436. Yeah, it's pretty good to be honest with you. I'm not gonna lie. Alrighty guys, just had in and out burger for the first time. It was, all, it was actually pretty good, the burger was good. I, I'm not gonna say anything else though, because I'm not gonna spoil the chips video. Uh, I've been sort of hinting at it a few times so far in these vlogs. And they also have this pink lemonade drink, and it is fucking good. It is actually good. We've got a lot more drink varieties at, um, in American like fast food places. For example, in Australia you get like, I don't know, Sprite and Coke and that's about it. More variety in America and better drinks, better food. Alrighty guys, the final area of my LA trip for the vlog, Santa Monica, I'm gonna be here for like a day. Uh, I eventually need to find a time to head to the pier to ask American stuff on the AFL. I've always had that video idea in mind, I'm not too sure how it's going to work out though, because I'm, I'm still not the best at interviewing videos, particularly going up to people and asking them. But we'll, we'll find out I guess later on how that works, um, hopefully it does run smoothly. At the moment just sort of in the mall area, uh, I'm going to grab something to eat because I haven't really done heaps here yet. We're in a different part of the, uh, the city, got ourselves some uh, ice cream sandwiches with cookies. So they were pretty good. Uh, we've got a few new American friends as well. Say hello. hello. Give yourself a shout out, go on. Um, look up Kelsey's vlogs. I don't know if it will come up, but maybe. Oh, that, I, I can guarantee they'll come up before someone like an older girls, that's for sure. They look pretty good though, I haven't tried them yet. Um, are they decent? They, they do. They do look good. All right, we went ages for this, so it should be good. Yeah, they're good. You definitely eat one of those. You can get fat for that, for sure.
Kelsey and her sister then drove us around through LA as I decided to do a live stream and you wouldn't believe what song they started to listen to next. Moan baby, moan baby, louder and louder. <laughs> It's so packed. I didn't realize how packed it was and we need to find a decent spot to like film the intro But then a decent spot also to get people on so maybe, maybe there'll be people that come up. I doubt that's the case um, I'm really not too sure how this is gonna work, but super packed and Yeah, we've got to get this done sort of not quickly, but before the sunset Do you have any idea what this sport is? Whilst the filming to be honest with you started off really bad over time It started getting much better as people were genuinely wanting to get in the video. Kilda, which one do you think is a bit the better team? Oh, it's for football. No, nigga. It's, it's a type of football, but what football? So I, I, I want you to try and handball the footy. Just finished a good two hour filming session. I was quite nervous at the start actually. It was really difficult to get people like to say yes. Because I, I said before, people were rejecting me left, right and center. And as the night wore on, it got better and better. And I think this is probably one of my more entertaining videos. As you can tell, I'm at the airport, LA airport, and we are gonna be wrapping up this vlog as we speak. And the next one will be probably more action packed, I reckon, in Orlando, a bit longer as well, we'll be spending there. Uh, and then before we go to Mexico, so it'll be a new vlog in a new place. This is gonna be, I guess, the LA vlog, if you call it that. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, see you very soon in my next video. Cheers.